Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, look at me switching up the content. <laughs> so for today's video I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial. I have had so many requests since I got my hair cut up really really short for a hair tutorial on how I curl my hair. So whenever I first got it cut up and the first couple of videos I had done, uh, the curls I had in my hair were actually from the salon I got it done in. Two of my very good friends own that salon so Nicole Nicole does my hair, she did my hair and the curls lasted until I actually washed my hair and it was throughout those videos and throughout that week I was getting so many questions on could I do a tutorial for that hairstyle? Now here's the thing, <laughs> um, Nicole curled my hair with a pair of straighteners. I cannot for the life of me curl my own hair with straighteners, I just can't physically do it. So I was like shit <laughs> this just isn't going to happen then i think it was about three weeks after i had got my hair cut i took this magical notion in my head to cut my hair myself even shorter so my hair was initially to about down to about here to whenever i call cut it and then i have cut it right up to well up to where you can see it is up to <laughs> and I had done a bit of hooking around my house and I found these bad boys this has honestly saved my life whenever it comes to styling my hair if you are somebody that struggles with curling your hair with it being short or long try a barrel or a barrel wand or a pair of tongs if you struggle curling your hair with straighteners so yeah I'm just gonna be doing a hair tutorial today on how I get my short hair big and curly. Um, this wand is from Babilis. Um, This is probably older than probably some of you watching this. This is the one that I have been using recently. I really do need to invest in a half decent one. This one is really old fashioned but it's just been working for me. Another piece of advice I would give is if you have shorter hair try to go for a smaller medium sized wand and then, and then if you have longer hair go for a larger wand. Because my hair is shorter I do want the curl to be slightly tighter and then you can kind of like tossle, 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 we'll just go for tossle and then you can kind of just like tossle it out. I don't necessarily think I need to mention it but I'm going to mention it anyway. If you're going anywhere near your hair with any heat tools, anything from straighteners, curlers or even a hair dryer, you always want to make sure that you have your hair heat protected. So I use a wee oil. For some reason the other day I decided to take the label off it and it's now all sticky. Fab! So I have coated my hair in that mainly towards the ends because it is an oil. I don't necessarily want my roots to become greasy because whenever you're curling your hair you don't want your hair to be oily because it'll just be ugh. so most of the time you'll see anybody curling their hair or straightening their hair they will start from the bottom and work their way up and they will just section it just like so but whenever i'm curling my hair i struggle to curl the back of my hair so what i do to make it easier for myself is i just like to take my hair and put it into a very sexy parting and I just like to split it so that my hair is basically in two. I think I'll start on this side first actually so you can actually see what I'm doing. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just going to, oh shite. And then I'm just going to brush out this side of my hair. So this is the side that I'm going to be working on first. So the reason I do section off into two pieces down each side of my head is so that I can work from the bottom up on each side of my hair. So the first part I'm going to take first is just this wee section down here. So the back part of my hair is only here. So it is easier access other than me having to curl a bit of hair that's like way, way back here. Um, I don't know. I just struggle <laughs> doing that. So I just kind of like to take a medium piece of hair. The smaller piece of hair that you take, the more tighter and defined the curl. The larger piece of hair you take, it will be more of like a bouncer wave. But I just like to take it on a diagonal direction but as you can see I do not like to put my ends in this part here because I do have a blonde hair um my ends are pretty dodgy anyway but in saying that whenever you curl your hair I always like to keep my ends out even if you are doing it with straighteners and stuff it just kind of gives it more of a natural look and it doesn't look too I don't know Betty Boop little Bo Peep I don't know 
it just makes the curl look so much nicer. Because this is the bottom part of my hair, I'm not that fussy with it. So if I miss like a wee bit of hair, I'm not that bothered. <sighs> I'm starting to sweat already. And then I just kind of like to hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds. You kind of know yourself. And then just let it go. That was shit. As I say, I like to keep my ends out. So I just like to clamp it here and then just wrap it around. So I'm just going to zoom these into this curl. So as you can see, the reason I keep my ends out is so that it doesn't look so much like a ringlet. Whereas I just kind of find that's more of a, like a nicer curl, but if your ends are kind of a wee bit straighter. Clamp it just before the ends and then just in the same direction. I don't know if I'm crazy or not, but I'm actually really tempted to get my hair cut up shorter again. Honestly, I never thought I'd be one of these people that really, really liked having short hair, but I don't know, I hair, my hair was just in such a bad need of a trim. Um, it was just beyond needing a trim, it just needed so much of it, so I just thought, to hell with it, I'll just get it all cut up. But to be honest, my main inspiration for getting my hair cut up was actually Jordan Lipscomb. <laughs> I just realised that I'm actually curling the side of my head now that I actually find the easiest but yet I decided to curl that side which I struggle with. This is why I do not do hair trials people. <laughs> oh I'm an absolute nightmare honestly. Ah. Okay, so just a wee trick here that I've just kind of noticed. So with this part of my hair, I do have a shorter bit here and then a longer bit here. This is just a layer that I've always had within the back of my head that's always been slightly shorter because I did go through a stage where I had severe damage at the back of my head. If you do have layers in your hair and you're kind of struggling to keep the bits of the layers within the wand itself, just kind of like twist, lightly twist at the bottom. So as you can see, that layer is now within something. I don't know, but it just isn't going to stick out as much if that makes sense. So it's just going to curl it all pretty evenly now. Look at that wee pathetic bit of hair, really. Why, why am I even going to bother? Now whenever I'm starting to curl the crown portion of my hair, this is whenever I'm wanting to add more body and volume into my hair. So I just like to section this part, get them roots, oh my god. Whenever I'm wanting to add a bit of volume to the hair, I'm just going to roll the curler underneath. See the heat is underneath that bit of hair and the hair is kind of lifted so therefore it's just going to create a bit more volume at the root. So this section here is the section that I will always do last is because I kind of curl it in different directions if that makes sense. So if you look at the two sides of my head I'm not too sure if you can notice but the curls that I have done on this side are going forward whereas the curls on this side are going back if that makes sense. So the curls I do on the top of my head, I kind of do front and back curls. So these are the curls that I'm going to curl back the way. So then just this next piece, I'm going to curl forward. What the fuck? Okay, we're just gonna, we might have a situation here, but we're just gonna forget about that one for now. Okay, so then this next section, we're going to curl back. So it's back, front, back. Whenever you are finished curling the hair, is you can always go back and take wee pieces of hair and curl them individually. Most people, it kind of depends on your preference. If you want to keep your hair like this and you're wanting to keep your hair a more of a defined curl, why is my voice breaking? How rude. 
so <laughs> um, yeah but I do not keep my hair like this <laughs> so what I'll usually do is I'll usually just tassel it out and dress it out with my fingers so I will literally just get my fingers right into my roots and I will just shake the living hell out of my hair. I will even tip my head over and give it a shake as well. I will do it going over to the right, give it a shake from top to bottom, bottom to top, whatever. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that actually, not too bad. Every time I curl my hair, and you will notice this, it kind of looks different every single time. Then I will kind of just get my hair in the parting that I want it, whether I want it over this side or this side, whereas I kind of like to have my parting coming over to my right, your left. So this is where my wee pin tail comes in. You can use a comb, a pin tail or a back comb and brush. Doesn't necessarily matter. Sometimes I'll even just use one of these brushes. So I will get the tiniest wee bit of hair, mainly on the crown area. Give the tiniest wee bit of back comb just right at them roots. And, and again, just the tiniest wee bit of back comb. So you're kind of left looking like this. And then I'll give another ruffle through just to kind of soften and brush out that back comb. Just whatever wee curls I have, I will grab the end of the hair or the curl and I'll comb up. It just kind of creates more volume. There we have it. So the only product I will go in with now is the tiniest bit of hairspray. I will make sure it is a strong hold hairspray so that it really does lock in the curl and the style. So I always kind of like to keep the oomph and the volume. So yeah, the tiniest bit of hairspray. But what I like to do is I like to just get the claw hand shape and kind of get the hair and kind of puff it up and then spray from underneath. Not too close because this is quite a strong hairspray and you don't want your hair to be crispy or go really, really hard. And then I will literally just hold it like that so that it sets. And this kind of just keeps the hair up. And then I'll just do that around the back as well. So yeah guys, this is it. This is the completed, I was gonna say look, but this is basically how I get my hair big and curly. I'll usually just put this side behind the ear and if you do have my length of hair, this size or smaller will be absolutely perfect. You can go bigger if you're wanting it to be more of like a loose beachier wave, but this is just the size that I do prefer for my hair and for the curl that it gives. I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I do apologize that I'm honestly not the best at explaining things. But yeah guys, that's it for me. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter. They'll all be listed down below. Again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video.